James, do I look older to you today? You look like you're 80. Because I'm an older woman. Think about all the things we haven't done with our life yet. <laughs> Guys, today is my birthday and we are going on a birthday adventure. I'm so excited. I want to tell you guys about the snacks that we bring on most, if not all, of our road trips. We tried to make our travel snacks as healthy as possible. James and I both have an unhealthy relationship with refined sugar. I'd say I have a very, very, very unhealthy relationship with it. So I tried to replace that unrefined sugar with actual real life sugar, which is just fruits and stuff. So we have pineapples. We love pineapples. There's a pineapple right there. We have things like apples, bananas, grapes. Grapes are my favorite fruit in the world. And then we also have things like dried pineapples and different things of the sorts. We also make sure to bring things like granola. James will either have Cliff Bars, which we brought this trip, or he'll actually have a bag of granola. He basically lives on granola and granola type things whenever we're traveling because I'm really cheap and I also don't like to stop on the side of the road to go get something from a gas station. So if we just have a bag of granola, we can just grind out whatever trip we're making and he won't die of hunger. And then the newest addition to our travel arsenal is Hint Water. Hint actually sent us a ton of cases of water and it is so good. This is the first time that we will be taking Hint on the road and I'm going to try my best not to drink all of them in one day. next day, James and I drove from Salt Lake down to St. George. I found one of the biggest ways that we actually spend money is at fast food restaurants and it's garbage for your body. So I like to make my own food. Yesterday I made a pasta salad. Usually it's like sandwiches and just cheap stuff like that. So if your cooler works well, just bring your own stuff and save some money and eat healthy. The reason that I like to make food as opposed to get fast food is I know what's going into my body. This is just a bunch of pasta and just salad stuff. And then I put tuna fish in there because tuna fish fills me up and it's good for your soul. The last little hack is there are avocados and avocados do brown. I wet a paper towel. I don't know if this is like scientific, but I actually wet a paper towel and then just put the damp paper towel on top of the avocados and they're brown, but not as brown as it could be. So just wet your avocados and you're good to go. Moist avocados. <laughs> We are back at the hotel room from all of our excursions. These last couple days were fantastic. I really enjoyed my time spending my birthday out in the desert and I hope that some of my travel healthy snack tips things were useful to you. Do you guys like to travel and take road trips? And if so, what snacks do you guys like to bring with you? I'm interested in knowing because we are always in search for new snacks. They can be unhealthy too. Like you can share your unhealthy snacks with me. Trust me, I would love to eat sugar but bonus points if you have healthy snacks. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Christina. My husband's name is James. We both like to adventure, travel, and create videos around just everywhere. We are not limited. We would go outside of the earth if we could. But for right now, we're going to stay on planet earth and adventure around. You guys have a fantastic, lovely, great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you, bye.